Today is a day closing day on our custom home up here on Ridgewood Crescent. A um, couple notes here before we go inside for the full IGTV tour today. Uh, we've got this, first of all, it's a walkout bungalow here. Nice dark uh, gray with some black kind of accenting on the color scheme. A nice stone skirting through here as well. And then we'll come up onto the front porch here and uh, this just heads obviously to the front door. We did this nice kind of red color front door here just to kind of give it a little bit of an accent color. And then of course, lots of nice covered porch area here as well. These posts are all painted in to match in with the softening and just an overall really, really clean and cool um, color scheme. Oh, just before we go in as well, we've got this nice uh, cathedral ceiling heading back in towards the front door here, which just kind of designates it a little bit nicer. So we'll take you right inside here and give you the full tour. Here we go. Okay, so just entering in through the front door here, straight ahead of us, we have just a hallway front foyer leading into the house. Right here, we have a coat closet. Oh, and also I should mention that this house is 1,478 square feet on the main floor. Um, so lots of amenities on the main floor in a kind of a compact, uh, a little bit more compacted layout. Um, just up above here, we've done a little bit of a lift in the ceiling and actually our customer in this case um, wanted to incorporate some of these old barn beams that they had actually left over from uh, uh, their cottage project and they just wanted to bring some of that old into the new house so we uh, uh, got these beams put in place and uh, just kind of sets off the front foyer here. Um, you might notice with this front foyer it's just a little bit more compact this way. Uh, we've done this layout before uh, where it was a little bit more open here and this customer in particular wanted to alter this floor plan to just bring down the square footage a little bit and keep things a little bit more compact. So nice front door there uh, to the front porch leading out and then just off the front foyer here we have a flex room. So the flex room is could be a bedroom, could be a den, could be an office, all those fun things. Um, but a good big window here out towards the front porch, covered front porch. We will get rid of the excavator here at some point, but that goes out to that covered front porch. And then there is a closet back here as well. Um, so lots of room for if this was to be used as a bedroom, you'd have lots of storage space there as well. And then in this case, I believe this room is gonna be used as an office. So look, uh, this customer wanted a little bit more natural light here. So we put this piano window up in here just to give it a little bit more of an airy feel. And then the laminate flooring does carry right in through this flex room as well. So then just off the flex room and off the front foyer, we've got a good size powder room here. Um, really nice furniture style um, vanity here with a nice oval uh, ledge top base in there. And then uh, of course you've got your uh, toilet there in the corner. And then as far as the uh, flooring goes, this is a luxury vinyl tile. So that's all uh, vinyl product that gets laid in individual pieces and set in a bed of adhesive as well. Um, the grouting, I don't know how well you can see that, but the grouting in this tile is a sand and poly base grout. So it's very, very durable. We do tons of it in our homes and uh, our customers seem to absolutely love it because of the durability factor and the warmth and softness and all that good stuff. So entering into the kind of main living space of this house, we've got our kitchen here off to the right and we'll just go through that really quickly. Um, so we've got quartz countertops, uh, two-toned countertops here, so quartz on the island in a lighter color, and then a dark laminate on the perimeter there. So good size sit-up island here. We've got actually some storage here in the front, so these all open up uh, for that extra storage for China and things like that. And then a couple of nice pennant lights above the island there, undermount double sink, and uh, actually by request in this case, uh, this customer didn't want that sink to be centered. They wanted one bigger compartment and one smaller. Uh, we've also got a, a soap uh, dispenser there as well. So nice and convenient spot there for the island. And then just very, very simple here on the outside, we've got just nice white clean cabinets and a low profile um, micro vent there as well. And then just over on this side, uh, we've got my Tim Hortons coffee. No, just kidding. We've got uh, a nice shelf uh, through here that actually ties 
the railing and the mantle uh, in terms of the stain match uh, into the kitchen here. So just a nice touch there. And then we've got lots of under cabinet lightings there as well. And then come through here, we've got a walk-in pantry with a little bit of uh, cabinetry in it. So open face cabinetry there and a little bit of a countertop for all your small appliances and things like that. And then this customer actually is gonna look after the upper shelving themselves. They have something specific in mind and a little project there for a homeowner. Um, coming through, so just beyond the kitchen here, we've got the dining room area, which has the terrace door going out to an elevated deck. We'll go out there in just a minute. Uh, but one thing to note here is uh, we decided to do a raised ceiling through all the way through the living room and into the dining room. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it is uh, up in that insert the wall color as opposed to uh, the ceiling color so it just gives it a little bit more dimension which is nice um, and then we just head through here this is your living room so we've done a nice electric um, linear fireplace there again with this nice mantle here uh, that's been stained again to match in with some of the stuff throughout the house a little bit of a drywalled in shadow box that will just hide all of those components um, so you put your TV mount on there push it back in and you don't see any of the spaghetti and all that fun stuff there's actually a pipe there that goes in behind the TV and comes out to there so any of the HDMI cables are all hidden by that lots of good natural light here coming off the covered deck as well um, or partially covered deck as well great view out there uh, to uh, the farmland beyond this lot We've got our stairs here we will go down to the basement in just a minute it is partially finished but just a nice simple um, finished staircase and again uh, that stain ties in with some of the other components in the house we'll take you just outside here really quick and show you this elevated deck so we've got a terrace door here with a screen on it. The deck itself is uh, pressure treated uh, decking and then we've done this nice aluminum and glass railing here to just really capture and take advantage of this nice view. There will be no development behind here so it's all just uh, farmland and it's a great view up here. Um, so we are way up. It is a walkout so we're up over the second floor here and uh, just a really nice view up in here so lots of fun entertainment one thing to note here there is going to be a hot tub um, in the back in this corner so we did reinforce this deck uh, to pick up that live load as well that door right there goes to the master bedroom which we'll see in just a minute back over here to this alcove heading into the master bedroom just just before we do enter the master bedroom there is a nice size linen closet here as well to keep all the, those blankets and towels and all those fun things that we do need storage for. And then this comes into the master bedroom. So good size window here in the master bedroom. Bed will be on this wall. We've got the receptacles on either side of the bed. And then there's your door coming out to that elevated deck that we were just on. Um, so you can just slip out that door and uh, into the hot tub. We've got raise and lower in glass blinds on, on both terrace doors here. So uh, just something to keep a little bit of privacy if somebody's sleeping in here or whatever. Um, and then this comes through to the ensuite bathroom. We've got a double vanity here, so really nice double vanity, lots and lots of storage, lots of drawers, all that good stuff. And then these nice square ledge mount basins as well, a little bit of uh, medicine cabinet storage there in the front. And uh, yeah, it turned out really, really well. And then just through here is the walk-in closet behind that pocket door, which I'll show you in just a minute. We've got toilet with a little bit of natural light. Um, we've used the uh, rain glass there just to create a little bit more privacy for that area. And then we've got this nice custom shower. There's a little bit of a difference with this custom shower with some of the other custom showers that we do. Uh, this is a marble slab. So these are all marble panels right here as opposed to um, tile. So uh, also the base is marble, which is pretty typical. And then we've uh, put a niche, marble niche, into there for keeping soap and shampoo and all those good things that you need in the shower. Also the ledge works kind of nice as a bit of an extra shelf as well. And then we've got the uh, rain head up in here as well as a detachable telephone uh, style shower head there as well. So a couple different options. And then the valve does have a diverter from one to the other um, so that you can choose 
which function you'd like to use. Nice glass enclosure with the uh, glass hinge door there. And uh, yeah, it turned out looking really awesome. Okay, so just quickly, I'll show you the size of this. So just behind here, we've got this pocket door. Huge walk-in closet back in here. Um, and again, this customer has some specific ideas about how they want to finish this off. So right now, it's just a bit of a blank canvas and it's another little project. Everybody needs that honey-do list, right? So just heading back out off the front foyer again, we've got a pocket door right here that comes across this opening, which leads back to this little mudroom right here. So this door uh, goes into the garage, which we'll show you in just a minute. And then straight ahead of us, we've got another pocket door, which will close through that opening with the laundry room right ahead of us here. So stackable washer and dryer. We've got lots of room here for future um, laundry vanity or whatever the customer decides to do here. But it's just a great little space in a, in a convenient spot um, just off of the mudroom here and not too far from the kitchen or the master bedroom. This brings us out, oh, and just before we do, we've got a nice coat closet here as well for that storage that we all need. And then we come out here and we've got the garage, which has all been finished with this Easy Liner uh, PVC panel, which we've been doing a lot of lately. Man door there out to the side. And then we've also put in a little different lighting up in here. Uh, some LED kind of low profile LED lights as opposed to the open bulb um, stuff that we have been doing. And then of course a nice belt drive garage door opener uh, and closer there as well. So good size garage, about a car and a half, a little bigger than a car and a half garage on this one. All right, we'll take you down to the basement and show you that. So now we'll take you down to the partially finished basement. You'll notice that there is carpet down to this uh, basement here on the stairs and then we come into this area which is sort of partially finished we've got a couple of rooms down here that are fully finished but here you can see the full effect of the walkout so we've got a nice terrace door here going uh, out to what will be a future patio good big windows all through here lots of natural light we've put our nice wax coating to keep the dust down um, on the uh, concrete floor for the time being we actually did provide the uh, homeowner with uh, some of the trim materials that they need to finish this off on their own as well um, one of the things here that we did was this nice drop ceiling just to finish in with all these pot lights and get everything uh, looking good so what we're standing in is uh, i'm sorry it will be a future rec room space kind of all through here and then uh, over in this area the customer has uh, plans to make this a workout room so we put a cat 6 ethernet port up here for a future mounted tv so that uh, you can watch tv while you work out or listen to music or whatever um, again this goes out underneath our elevated deck and uh, we've just put a nice basin underneath there actually i'll just open this up Put a nice basin under here for a future patio um, that can just be poured easily. The rest of everything will just be lawn and landscaped and all that good stuff. But it's a nice little space underneath this deck as well. So we'll take you back this way. And as I mentioned, there is a couple of rooms that are finished down here. One of which is this bedroom. Um, so they just wanted to finish this bedroom right away because uh, when company comes to stay um, there won't be any mess or anything like that so again with this uh, nice laminate flooring carrying through and into the bedroom we've got a good size um, closet there egress window and just a nice little bedroom there for guests to come and stay and then we head down the hallway a little bit further and we have a three-piece bathroom down here as well so we have a tub shower module unit there uh, which is pretty standard fairly standard fixtures in here a nice uh, vanity there good size vanity for a guest bathroom as well and uh, the colors and the flooring with that herringbone looks really really cool as well um, so that turned out looking great and then last but not least we'll come into the utility room um, we've got and one thing to mention actually here as well we spray foam insulation all this foundation wall in behind here um, so it's good and tight and everything will stay nice and dry and warm uh, here's all of our uh, cat 6 ethernet ports from all throughout the house coming and grand slamming here at the panel um, so that everything can be tied into the same communication loop uh, 200 amp panel which i'm sure you're accustomed to at this point uh, we do that in every house that we build what else can I show you? We've got an on-demand water heater here. Uh, we do these in every house. This house is Energy Star certified. Um, so this is part of our certification package along with um, lots of other elements, insulation, air tightness, 
uh, different mechanicals, a 96% efficient furnace, uh, two-stage furnace with ECM motor, ERV right here, so energy recovery ventilator, which brings all the fresh air in, filters it, brings it throughout the house, deals with uh, humidity in an efficient way as well. Um, just over here, we've got water softener. We live in the Stone Town. We have lime in our water, so uh, we, we want to have uh, salt in that softener at all times. Sump pump, uh, radon mitigation pipe for underneath the slab, and then we've got our gas manifold right there as well. So um, that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour and have a great day.